So let me explain to you how the new upscale feature with an ideogram works. Now, once you've got an image generated right here, you get this new button on the right hand side called upscale. And if you click on this, it brings up the original prompt, the original image, which was generated at around a thousand pixels. And what the upscaler will do is it will increase the quality with the help of AI and will help sort of fill in some of the gaps and make it a lot more realistic and sharper, which is not the same that a sort of traditional or original upscaler would do. Whereas they literally just increase the resolution, try and sharpen up the image and improve some of the details, but they're not using AI to kind of fill in the gaps. One thing that you have to consider is the sliders over here. So we've got resemblance and we've got detail that we can change from one to 100. What do these mean? First of all, resemblance, the lower the value is right here, the less uh, the AI is going to consider the original image. So it's, it's kind of giving it some room to touch up little imperfections and come up with a few new details within this image or within the upscaled image. If you want the upscaled image to be as close as possible to the original, then turn this up all the way to 100. So let's do a quick split test. I'll turn this down to one and then do the same exact image and prompt with a setting of 100 for the resemblance. And then we can compare these and then I'll explain the detail slider as well. Once the process is done, you can click on the upscaled version right here and then enable a split view to look at the before and after. So on the left hand side, we see the original image on the right hand side, the upscaled version. And with this slider, you can kind of compare the two versions. Um, in this case, we're looking at the 100 point resemblance setting. And as you can see, or maybe you can't see, <laughs> there's literally no changes, like very, very minute details have been adjusted by the AI. But besides that, it is very, very close to the original, just the quality has been improved. To download the result, you can, as usual, go to these three dots, and then hit download over here. And uh, let's go to the other option or the other version that we generated with one resemblance set down here. So uh, this one shouldn't be close to the original and it is not. I mean, it's still similar, but if you focus on uh, the statue, like the face, if you look at the clouds and if I quickly swing this across, you can see that there's quite a lot of changes that happened from the original to the upscaled version because the resemblance was turned down right here. But what about the detail slider? Well, this one is a bit more self-explanatory, but basically the higher the number right here, the more detail the AI will include or add to the upscaled version. And this could be things like textures, shadows, or just, you know, granular minute details within the graphics, within the image. If you turn this down all the way to one or the lower the number, the less detailed the final result will be. So you should have more of a flat graphic in a simplistic style. Um, so let's test this again. I'll turn down the resemblance a bit as well. And let's do uh, detail setting one as well as detail set to 100 and then compare the results. So here we've got the upscale result with the lowest detail setting. And if I enable this split view again, then on the left hand side of, well, now we can see the original fully with uh, quite a few stains and texture right here. Um, it's quite a grainy worn uh, image. And if we turn this over to the upscaled, then yeah, some of that has definitely gone. It's still not 100% flat and gotten rid of all the details, but it does seem to be a bit less detailed than the original. So we've got original here, upscaled version here, original, upscaled. Let's look at the other one, um, which is right here. So the detail set to 100, if we do split view, this is the original, this is the upscaled version. Original, upscaled. Um, I think for some reason it actually still lowered the amount of detail, but it's not as harsh as before. Um, so yeah, I think the detail slider, um, it doesn't make the, the biggest difference. I think resemblance is going to be more important for you to change based on what you want in the end result. Um, but they had, did have a better example in their help section uh, when it comes to the sort of the detail slider and how it affects the result. And that's also a quick bonus tip. If you get stuck with ideogram, if there's some features or some buttons and you, you don't know what they do, you can go into settings up here, click on help and documentation 
and then you've got sort of articles to help you out about all the different features. Um, for example, if you click on ideogram features right here and then go down to upscale and here you kind of get a quick breakdown of how the feature works and some examples at the bottom as well, what the different values mean. Uh, this is the example for the detail value. So we've got two images right here um, that it's flicking in between. The first one having the detail set to one and the other one having the detail set to the maximum of 100. And you can especially see the difference, I think, on the floor right here. Uh, one image is significantly more detailed. Now, one thing to note is that the ideogram upscaler, whilst it can get some amazing results with the help of AI, it only doubles the size of the images, which is unfortunately not enough for print on T-shirts. And that's why I would recommend to you to still use a free upscaler afterwards like dgb.lol. I will have a link to this in the description. And here you can go to the AI image upscaler. You can drag and drop up to 20 images into this at once. If you've already upscaled with ideogram, you can select a different model from this dropdown and go to DGB LOL Sharp 2X, for example, which will be enough to bring it up to T-shirt print quality. I would also enable enhance the input image and then submit this to the queue where you can later find the upscaled versions um, that is in the my files section over here. It might take a while to get these upscaled, but it is worth the wait. If you want a free tool, there is paid alternatives, but this from my tests at least is the best free online upscaler. If you're struggling to get text generated properly with ideogram, then you might want to watch this video next where I share a hidden setting that can help increase your text accuracy.